day 42 of my budget bungalow build I'm surprised that last Saturday the total was still under 200,000 which I was budgeting for the budget bungalow so I still can call it now budget bungalow but I'm sure this week we will be over that because I'm hoping that they will be putting on the metal sheets today and you can see that we are very gloomy right now because yesterday Sunday it's raining all day and so is today it, the rain just come and go like I said it's uh, rainy season come early because of the tro some tropical depression somewhere so bad luck for the old couple who's planning a big celebration on Saturday Die. and I hope that there's no other demands that they can have will be uh, I hoping that there were two or three more weeks that um, on that last week the windows and doors will be installed but I want to get out of there and start the road so I don't have to deal with the old couple and their hypocrisy and bantai So I'm going near it. The ground is so wet. Check. Let's see what they've done. Are they destroying the house or putting on the metal sheets? And who's there and who's not there? Be careful because the grass is slippery. But I'm nearing it. I could hear some hammering. And the old woman is there. I don't know what they're doing here. They're still cutting or what they ever they do. I arrived here in the build site and they're still putting on the braces. Like I said, this is now OA, overacting too much. I don't know what braces are they going in. And old Tony was trimming on the edge of those awnings. But I don't know, what are they waiting for? They said that the braces are needed. It's only a metal sheet. And it's not carrying any tiles or anything. And why are they making it so OA as if like it's carrying a roof tile? <laughs> and if they want more wood, I will not buy it anymore. So they have to stuff it up. Because I am not happy with this design anymore. So he's sewing it up. And the old man keeps yapping at him. So, they're putting more braces, but I won't buy any more wood if they requested some because I believe this is overacting. What are they playing on? Look at the ones that we're, we're placing. So I was hoping that they're gonna put the sheets on but if they're gonna be forever doing this that will be such a disappointment for the old man's family because their fiesta won't be pushing through
I'll try to go up to see what's there. This is what's happening up here. They just cut the corner of that post of the old, old man's house. And they're going to be trimming the awnings. But if they're going to be requesting for more wood, I'll tell you, I won't buy it. It's 208, the design that they're doing now. It's overacting. I thought it's going to be as simple as what you're looking at here. But obviously they're putting more braces but I've noticed it's not the best wood you can find so let them sort it with the food, uh, wood that's around available but like I said let them sort it with the wood available because I won't be buying anymore Because they're coming over brace. So all the all the four bloods is present, Tony, Fredo, Lit or Lito. So it's the lawyer who's useless as kind of these things. He's just gonna be helper. He's only good in their cementing and stuff like that. But when it's come to other things, he's useless. So it looks like that we're still gonna be doing some bracing for the whole day today and I've seen that they're using some of that two by two wood that we use for layouts I believe this is good enough now but as long as I don't buy any more extra that's all been counted for before so they can use it I won't be buying any more they have to ask me I won't so it looks like as well that we'll be the one destroying this rotten house because the old man is not organizing his grandsons to destroy this There's the Deloy. Don't know what to do because I'm here and looking. But I don't really make a fuss so much about him because he's mostly domestic. He just want to help here. Because he likes the feeling as well that I told him all the time. If we are building, you're in charge. So I could see the rain coming again. Everything's wet as you can notice down here. It's 
So it was such a heavy downpour last night and also this morning but you can see from the clouds that it's also coming again. So all the wood is wet. See on the other side. That Tony is trimming all the edge. Of the end of the roof. So this is what old Tony was doing, trimming all the edge of the awning. And we have done a two here but it's still gonna be done on the end so you can see because of the heavy downpour we have done not much but just bracing up so I see what they're trying to do now is the because we're having a hip rope they will just bracing up this side on the four corners that's what Lito was doing and he's almost there faster than Fredo because he's already on the second side where Fredo is still trying to figure out his side Let's see if they have done anything for their of the heavy rain that we have done nothing on their dirty kitchen plan. So it remains like a ditch. So it looks like it's gonna rain again. It's hard to catch the light, but I'm trying to show you. Hoping that they can put some sheets today. So it's to speed it up because we're only going to be working five days today, this week, today, and then four days more. For this week because like I said the old man's family will have a big feast on Saturday and they're gonna held it inside the house that's why they're rushing up the roofing they're gonna ha be having three lichons so I, I said stop the work we don't want to be breaking the social distancing and also it be in our way interfering with all the people around it'll be more yapping than work so it's better that we I have to stop the work than to mingle with them that is one thing that is very common in the Philippines and I know it's such a uh, it's a tradition for fiesta but the attitude of some Filipinos behind the fiesta they will go hungry all year but they will go out of their way to be in debt just to feed 
the fiesta. I mean, feed people on the fiesta. And although, think about it, some of the youngsters, the new generation, is not following it. Like, it's wrong. Why do you have to grow hungry or live modestly through the whole year? And in one day of the fiesta, you want to show off. But it still exists. That's why when I go around being invited to your fiesta, I know that some of the houses cannot afford all the fees. But they go out of their way to be a one day, like exuberant one day feast. And for me, that is wrong. I even was arguing with my parents about it before because my mom's a bit like that and why have to show up on fiesta invite people that you don't even know most of the people and then the rest of the year you'll be paying for the debts that you incurred during the fiesta and for me that's wrong but that is the sad reality of one of the Filipino tradition is to show off during fiestas people go out of their way be in debt just to have a feast on fiestas you might be surprised that uh, especially foreigners who are not familiar with the Filipino traditions you'll be surprised that Oh, you'll be invited to a fiesta and it's such a poor house but they have very much food that you can think how can they afford this when they they don't look like they can afford this but they go out of their way to show off for fiesta And they are saving that all year as well. Like, they'll um, get a pig, count like how many, three to four months before the fiesta, they'll have a piglet, they feed just to be eaten on the fiesta. And they will enjoy eating very simple food like dried fish, boiled vegetable, and then saving it up just to fatten the pig. The pig, pig is eating more than them on the upcoming months just to have a grand show on the fiesta or grand food on during fiestas. So day 42 is May 4. So we have 11 days more before the lockdown will be off. off. So... Then I could get the windows and the doors. So I'm going back. This was my morning check. I'll check later about 1.30 or 2 o'clock to see the progress. Then hopefully they've done the corners that they're trying to do and there will be Laying out sheets. So you can see the roads are wet. Rain is coming again. So. Oh, the fiesta. They're worried about it. It's going to be raining. Oh, this way. I need to rush putting the sheets. This is my second check for day 42. I hope they're putting up the metal sheets this time. Because this morning when I visited, they're still doing the bracing. So another thing that you need to be the first be aware of what you're going to look out for when you're building here in the Philippines. I used to have a lot of tools Machineries has been broken because they've taken out some parts of it. But that's one thing that you have to take note of. That when you provide some of the tools, they will just slowly disappear. I know I've talked about this German couple that 
a Filipina and a German couple that's building a beach house in somewhere in the north that they're always there all the time watching the build or if the German is taking them so long to build a house so the German has to go back to Germany to find some work and she's left here to organize everything and they were pouring a slab one time she was there to watch it all all the slabs finish and so she went home so she has to drive back because she forgot something and there he is caught in the act while the slab was still soft the builders are pulling out the rebars out of the poured concrete so it's it's just blatant death and there she is suck everything off everyone and leave the building set close it down and they hired another crew when the husband came back a few months later but this is what i mean that what i feel here that i think why they are not following instructions for the roof so much they're overdoing it because of the fiesta they're related to them the people that will be going here will be looking at the roof so impression impression they want to make an impression that oh you've done a good job on this one tony they've done a good job on this one Fredo. because they're related it's mostly relations is gonna go here and attend the fiesta now i see why so i hear nails has been put in Why atang? Why atang? Why atang? Why atang? Why atang? So they have put a few sheets now. You can see it there. So what we're using is gauge 22 of the uh, type of corrugated sheet so it's thicker. We're not using because you got a gauge of 24 and then you got the thinnest one which is 26. This one is actually the gauge 22 so that you can, they can walk over it without it bending. So at least it's got shade on here now. The reason why I did not make a pent roof because I don't want the triangle to be filled up and rendered to another expense. This is why we have a hip roof. So they have to start putting the sheets. So you can see they haven't put the umbrella nails over it yet. Over it yet. But they have laid it out cut it and just hold it up with um, an inch nail on the top so this is how what we do for hurricane straps the actual rebars from the column that's connected from the bottom to the top and hold it on to wrap it around the trusses like you can see here, this, this is the brace, but they still put rebars around it. But mostly the major truss is wrapped around with metal. Like that. All the, the ones with the columns. And the small bracing is done like this. So, I'm hoping that it won't take them long to do the roofing 
and they'll be back to rendering because you can see they already laid it out there now and I'll just buy the plain metal sheets that goes in between the gaps so the four of them's needed although I don't think the loy is needed and they have to overlap two grooves for each sheet so another problem of mine is my concern is when I transfer the electrics this is their electrics here and this is the main from the posts on the road and then it's connects to the old people old couple's house which is this and when i transfer it their daughter's house and the other house there is also connected here although that foreigner's house he already gave his father-in-law fifty thousand to have their own connection from the road but the father-in-law mr beep beep used the money instead and disconnect it from here so when I disconnect their electrics from here like this is their electrics both houses there and the foreigners house will have no electric until it was all connected again so what I plan is just have some of the sockets ready lights ready and then it will be just a matter of quick transfer because this is their sockets now on the walls it's just hanging so I don't want to make an elaborate plan This is their old house. And that's their extra wires. And there's another extra wires. So that's the sockets that they have. This is the breaker. So that's the breaker coming in from the electric that's their house breaker and that that's where they connect most of their electrics so I just have to have a simple plan but have it all connected ready they got loads of extra wires there anyway So, regarding the nails, how we do it here in the Philippines is to use this. This is what you call umbrella nails. You can see it's shape of umbrella. It goes on top of the ridge down to the wood. So, like umbrella nails, number three. This is 70 pesos a kilo. So that is what I mean with the electrics. They got a connection from the old couple's house connecting to this their daughter's house and from there connecting to the foreigner's house so this is what they are for now I'll just later but I've have made a 
good talk with the old man regarding the wood that how thick they are to let me pay for it and he was embarrassed so he let me have it for free now the wood frame and the door So hopefully this afternoon it will be almost there and then they're just gonna be putting up the umbrella nails tomorrow and old Lito will be buying the plain sheets. So this is our hip rope so we because with the pen rope you need to fill up the triangle that's gonna be up there. And it's also better for downpour. And I just uh, heard that the the connection of this foreigner's house is in somebody else's house, not with a old man, because someone died and then the house was left abandoned. But has a but has a uh, electrical connection so that's where they connect this not they're not relying on the old man's connection anymore so the ones connected with the old man is the house of his daughter and that one so i'll just check on the last hour how far that they have gone I've checked it there for the 2 o'clock, but my final check for the day, hopefully they have done more. And this is the law I'm instructing to make um, some scaffold folds that has been cut on my stock. And they get the marker for the road. Yes, I know. So that's the right height because I want him to dig to two feet down and he bring a scaffold that's two feet so where's the marker now so it will be the longer one I told him so I had a good talk with the old man that your daughter was asking for payment of the old wood and do you realize that it's your house we put it in how thick you are gonna be at least he's not he's sober this time not drinking yet because that's when they're very thick face when they have something to drink so at least I see he saw him there and talked to him straight so I could use some of the wood that they have in there when I do the framing of the windows and doors so I'll be back there on the last hour to check how far they have begun I'm going back down now for my last check of the day day 42 of my budget bungalow build last Saturday the total was still within the 200,000 budget which uh, brings the total to 192,831 so now that they're putting on the sheets definitely we will be over 200,000 but at least now I have a bit of relief that I really seek the old man and talk to him face to face that what's this that you're gonna pay me don't you realize it's just gonna be used on let me pay for the wood which can be used in the same house that you're gonna be moving in so I think because he's not drunk he realizes foolishness and I said your daughter's also saying the same so don't mind her now that I tell you don't pay for it just use what you can use I said that's better because do you know that I'm now thinking of just using what's the cheapest wood I can get you what is available because if it's like this that lockdown we can go anywhere it's go strict we need to work together you will be bad living in a better par house than what you have 
and he understood it so if any more asking about the payment i'll stop it off in their face that this is what you said i even asked him when there's a few people can hear it the boys my lads can hear it so they will attest to it what he said because like i said he's been avoiding me and avoiding me when i'm here now at least it's sorted so let's see how far they have reached so i have the lawyer dig up the So what I have the Lloyd done here is to make a marker from following the red marker on the wall because that will be the end of the boundary and that is like the road's gonna be this is the side the left side will be the road and that's the part of the house remaining before we destroy the wall then we know the, where it where are the indication that was put in by the geodetic engineer for where the boundaries are so you can see from this and if you look up the owning of the house is just there's a walkway like a meter between the house and the boundary so the old man can still walk around his property left and going back here on the sheeting they have done one side here but they haven't nailed it up it's only like one inch nail just to put it in place they haven't um, finalized the nailing using the umbrella nails gamay ra kayo ng masaha matumba to oh That's bring shade to the bottom of the house already. So you can see it's still a bit of gap there, but they haven't finalized it yet with the umbrella nails. So in this side, you can see that the old man has started his project of building a dirty kitchen. And they're mixing it on top of the slab. But who will be using the slab is not me. If it's not that flat, it's them. So I've gone past worrying about this, making it dirt cleaner. So that's the the formation of the dirty kitchen that they plan so it's like almost five o'clock now so this is how far we are after bracing this morning this is how far the sheeting that started after lunch so if i go inside you'll see the extent of what they have done so you can see it's a hip roof so So this is the extent that we have done, that they have done. So tomorrow I'm expecting them to finish everything up and just finalizing it. <laughs> Hopefully it will not be raining tomorrow, but since they have done all the bracing that they want, 
So we will be picking up the plain sheets that will go on the top of the ridge of these four corners and in the middle that meets the connection of the sheeting. And again, I'll just give you the total after the whole roof is done, which I think will be around Wednesday. And then we can continue on doing the rendering. So this is how far it is so far. And now it's getting shadier here in this part. So tomorrow, I hope they can do more, even if it's not finalized. So I go out, you can see all the other ones just sitting outside again. Kinahanglan dito matangtang. Punipan. Punipan mo yung masa aro maabot sa baba. Ma malibil sa yuta doon ba? So this is what I have aloy done. Dig that up. Foot a uh, scaffold pipe or a uh, galvanized pipe to indicate the marker that was put in. So this is what we are, 5 o'clock now. So only one side, but it's not even final. It's just cut to the size, the corners. But hopefully, three, two more sides tomorrow, and then they will start knocking down the column that will be barring them from continuing on the other side because that will be... The column of the old house is going to be inter interfering with them. So, you can see here what I mean. Um, So we will have to get those columns first from the old house because we cannot put the sheets. There's one, three, two columns first to have to take be taken off before they can proceed with the sheeting of the metal sheeting of the roof. So the sheets now I think will be looking better. It's looking big actually after the sheets are on. And this is how it looks here. <laughs> so this is what we are, five o'clock today. So I'll just do the total after all the sheets are on. Then I will do the update. As um, I will add it up to the day 41 total, I think about Wednesday, then it will all be installed. And we'll continue on the rendering. Or we might install the toilet bowl after we render the toilet. So they can use that.